Well, with Hugh Davies, Hugh, you've got some news to share with us. Yeah, so I'm playing my first game this week. Uh, I got the call up, just spoke to Jao then, and he said I'm good to go. Yeah, Jao called you into the office. Uh, he ripped the bandit off pretty quickly out here. Yeah, he just went straight for it, told me I was in, cut to the chase, which was good. Drafted in 2022, um, a big part of Peel's strong defensive unit um, last year and this year as well. Must feel good to be rewarded now with this AFL debut. Yeah, it does feel good. I feel like I've been at Peel for quite a while, but it definitely helped my development and helped my game a lot, so it's good to finally get some reward. Who's some of the players at the club you've looked to and learned to build your craft around? Uh, well, last year, I think Joel Hamling, who's left the club now and is at Sydney, he really helped me and... Uh, I think I modelled my game off him quite a bit coming into this year. And then just all the people above me right now, like Alex Pierce, Luke Ryan, Brendan Cox, Josh Draper, I've learned as much as I can off them just to try and soak it all in and get better. You come into a Fremantle backline group, holds one of the best defensive records in the comp this year. Um, a big step up, but I'm sure you're looking to take the challenge head on with those boys you just mentioned. Yeah, yeah definitely. I'm just looking to come in and play my role. Nothing will change, I guess, from playing for Peel. So I just want to come in and do my part, try and get a win. Recently on our socials, we've heard Andy Brayshaw, Khaled Sarong, uh, mention your name, which I'm, I'm sure you might have heard. But um, that must be, fill you with a bit of confidence knowing some of the leaders and experienced guys in the group are kind of recognising you for what you've been doing at Peel. Yeah, it definitely helps because obviously they're great players and I look up to them a lot and also good, good relationships with them. So it's good for them to communicate that stuff to me. What are some of the elements of your game you think you will look to implement uh, come Sunday? Uh, to be honest, I just want to focus on the contest. I feel that when I get my contest right and I'm able to kill the ball, then usually everything else in my game kind of flows. And I imagine you've got a few phone calls to make, uh, a couple of people to tell as well. So I'm sure you'll look forward to those moments. Yeah, definitely. It'll be an exciting couple of phone calls. Picture yourself on Sunday running out. How do you think it's going to go in hopefully a, a pretty busy, uh, packed Optus Stadium crowd on Sunday? Uh, yeah, to be honest, I haven't really looked that far ahead. I'm just... Kind of trying to soak it all in at the moment. Congratulations, it's well deserved. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.